It is a melancholy object to those who walk through this great town or travel in the country when they see the streets, the roads, and cabin doors crowded with beggars of the female sex, followed by three, four, or six children all in rags and importuning every passenger for an alms. This is ironic because it seems like Dr. Jonathan Swift seems like he cares about people in poverty, when in actuality his suggestion shows that he doesn't care about their well-being. If he did, then he wouldn't suggest people eating their children. I'm a poor old woman, and these are all my children. All six of us. I have been assured by a very knowing American and my acquaintance in London that a young, healthy child, well nursed, is at a year old a most delicious, nourishing, and wholesome food, whether stewed, roasted, baked, or boiled, and I make no doubt that it will equally serve in a fricassee or a ragoose. This is satire because Dr. Jonathan Swift is suggesting that the poor people eat their children so that they can actually be useful. We are American, and we like to cook our children. Bye, Bye, Timmy. Whether it is stewed, roasted, baked, or boiled, Bye, these little babies are a delicacy in America. <laughs> a very worthy person, a true lover of his country, and his virtues I highly esteem, was lately pleased in discoursing on this matter to offer a refinement upon my scheme. This is ironic because he describes a person who loves his country, yet the person supports cannibalism of the children of his country. My name is Hocus A. Pocus, and I'm a proud American, and I support eating our youth. Pew! In this case, this is a use of satire because he implies that there is nothing morally wrong with eating children. I can think of nothing, absolutely nothing, that will be raised against this proposal. Unless it should be urged by the number of people that will thereby lessen the amount of people in the kingdom. Yay.